friendship bracelet, we're going to start with a 30 inch piece of leather cording. This is round leather cording lace. It comes in a package like this and you get it at the craft store. The one we're using is 1.5 millimeters in diameter. We also have some scissors, a ruler, and a little silver shank button. And the first thing you want to do is you want to fold your cord in half. The easiest way to do that is to line up your ends like that and then your cord is perfectly folded in half. We want to make a little loop at one end. The loop's right there and we're just going to tie a knot. And what this knot is going to do is create a little loop at one end that's going to serve as part of our clasp. And I want this knot to be about an inch and a half from the end. I'm going to make it a little smaller than the loop I just made. There we go. And just pull that tight. That's one end. And now to figure out where we want to put our little button clasp, what we want to do is measure our bracelet. And we determined that we want our bracelet, we want the finish length to be seven inches long. That's just the right size for me. So I'm going to measure to seven inches. Then I'm going to add an inch and a quarter. And we'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to go to eight and a quarter and I'm going to hold onto the leather there and I'm going to slide my button onto that part of my cord. And you just need to slide on one side um, of the cord. You can leave the other cord just as it is. So I want to make sure I've got that in the right spot. So that's going to eight and a quarter inches. And now what I want to do is take the cord that I ran through that button and I'm going to fold it back on itself like that. So now you see I've got what looks like three cords. Really it's the two main cords and the one I just folded back. I'm going to grab all three cords and I'm just going to tie a simple knot. And I think it's easier, instead of trying to feed all this stuff through your knot, it's easier to use the loop end and just make a knot like that. Feed all three of those pieces through. It's just easier than, than the one with the button on it. And I want this knot to end up about the same distance from the end as this loop. So I'm going to kind of loosely tie the knot like that. And then I want to sort of check and see if those knots ended up about the same distance apart. Actually, I'm going to move this one down just a tiny bit like that. So now we've got our button clasp on one end, our loop at the other, and we want to trim these little loose ends that we have here. So I'm going to use my little scissors here. And I like leaving a little bit of a tail just because it's kind of fun. That. Be sure not to cut the wrong part of your bracelet. And now to clasp my friendship bracelet, I just feed the loop over the button like that. And we have a darling button clasp friendship bracelet.